today, El Paso. Your local junk caller here, Charlie, AKA Dumpster Daddy. We are out in the northeast side of El Paso today. Uh, we had a repeat client call us out. bunch of uh you know holiday trash and she called your boy she remembered your boy and she called us out uh, we are here now it is a beautiful sunshiny day got my girl cynthia with me she has been doing door hangers um yeah so we got us a, a possible client right now i'm waiting for him to text me back but if he does not we're gonna circle the block and we're gonna hand out some more door hangers and i do have something i want to talk to you guys today about so stay tuned all right, so we have been out here. We hit this block, about to hit the other side. But while I walk down to the end of the street, uh, just wanted to say, you know, talk, ha have a conversation with you, Pamela. Have a conversation with you. Um, the question ever since we started this junk removal uh, company um, and moved to El Paso to do it, the question has always been why junk removal and why El Paso? Um, so I'm here. And I'm going to do my best to try to answer that question for you. All right, folks, so we have uh, completed that block. Over here in the Northeast, I'm noticing that there's a lot of people who uh, have a, a, no soliciting signs on their, on their door. That's not a problem at all. We honor that request. I don't want to get in trouble with any potential clients. So we'll find another way to reach out to those clients, to those potential clients to let them know what we do. Um, but back to the topic, what I was talking about as to uh, why junk removal, why El Paso. Uh, just to give you a little background about us, uh, once again, we worked at the Walt Disney World Company uh, in Orlando, Florida for about uh, 10 years apiece, uh, both in merchandise for the, the extent of our time. My wife did within the last year of us being there before COVID. Uh, she did transition into a different role, uh, more back of house role. But for the, mo for the majority of our time at Disney, we were both front of house merchandise leaders. I was at the Hollywood Studios and the Magic Kingdom and my wife, uh, Bianca, she worked at um, Disney, was a downtown Disney at that time, Disney, uh, Disney Springs now, but she worked at the World of Disney. Uh, we met at the Magic Kingdom, and then from there, now we're here in El Paso. Uh, so um, we moved to El Paso. Well, actually, we came to visit El Paso, I think it was 2017 for Thanksgiving. Um, very beautiful. Air, much like much, it looked much like it does today. Very shiny, sunshiny. Uh, had mountains, blue skies, the big blue skies, just like in Florida. So, you know, at first, when her family asked me, I think it was her co older cousin. He said, "Would you move to El Paso?" I was like, "Bro, no, man. I no, I can't. Not, I like I like Orlando. I like where I'm at, man. You know, I'm only two hours away from the beach. I'm only a you know." A, a, 30 minutes away from anything entertainment wise that I could ever want to do, think of. Uh, when it comes to the theme parks, when it comes to uh, just hanging out, having good food, you know, good, all type of cuisine from all over the, you know, the world or whatever in, in the Orlando area because it's a tourist destination. 
So of course they got all that type of stuff. So no, I was not looking for it or planning on moving to El Paso. But then COVID hit. 2020 changed everything. Uh, I was going through some things at work, going through some things at the, with the company, uh, looking for a new path, looking for what it is my purpose, what was my purpose at that time, and I just wasn't finding it. So uh, COVID hit, and and that changed the world for me. That opened up my eyes to a whole uh, just different world. Uh, me and my wife sat down once Disney let us go, and we decided on we had to have a discussion on where we wanted to move first, if we wanted to stay in Orlando, if we wanted to move to Illinois, where I'm from, Chicago, I mean, well, not Chicago, but Richland Park, one of the suburbs of Chicago. Um, but ultimately we decided to move to El Paso because this is where she's from. Uh, she has a childhood home here in the, uh, on the UTEP area or the Sunset Heights area. So we decided that we wanted to come here uh, renovate that home, use, the, use our money that we got from Disney and plus our other little savings that we had. We was going to put it into that house and, and renovate it and move in and live in it. But things changed. Things didn't work out the way that we wanted it to. So we decided to put that money into the business and we purchased our first truck and that same trailer that you can hopefully see back there. Um, so here we are. Dumpster Daddy started. Uh, we, 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 we threw out the idea to some of our friends in Orlando. My homeboy G told me that he had a friend who was thinking of doing the same thing in Florida, gave him the name Dumpster Daddy, and his boy didn't run with it. Well, he gave us the name Dumpster Daddy, and y'all boy ran with it. And it has been doing us very well out here in El Paso. Uh, I have grown to like El Paso, not, you know, not like it, but you know, I, I saved the word love for my wife. That's, 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 that's specifically reserved for my wife, but I, I, I kind I like it here, man. It, it, you got, we got a good opportunity to start our own business. Uh, uh, we have uh, growth potential here. Um, El Paso has embraced us. Uh, they have embraced our, our service. They have embraced me and my wife. They have embraced me from not even, you know, not even being an El Pasoan, um, but they, they do. Um, contact us, call us for our services, and we do our best to deliver the same type of service that we gave when we were working at the Walt Disney World Company. We do our best to deliver that same level of service here in El Paso. Uh, but the service, instead of uh, you know selling you dreams and merchandise and all that other stuff, we, we're, we're, we're helping you uh, clean out your homes, clean out your garages, storage units, places of business, um, whatever we can do to help serve the community when it comes to removing trash, helping you declutter your life, that's what we are here for. 